Your running mate, Governor Pence, pledged on Sunday that he and you, his words, will absolutely accept the result of this election. Today, your daughter Ivanka said the same thing. I want to ask you here on the stage tonight, do you make the same commitment that you will absolutely, sir, that you will absolutely accept the result of this election? I will look at it at the time. I'm not looking at anything now. I'll look at it at the time. What I've seen, what I've seen is so bad. First of all, the media is so dishonest and so corrupt and the pile on is so amazing. The New York Times actually wrote an article about it that they don't even care. It's so dishonest and they've poisoned the minds of the voters. But unfortunately for them, I think the voters are seeing through it. There is a tradition in this country. In fact, one of the prides of this country is the peaceful transition of power and that no matter how hard fought a campaign is, that at the end of the campaign, that the loser concedes to the winner. Not saying that you're necessarily going to be the loser or the winner, but that the loser concedes to the winner and that the country comes together in part for the good of the country. Are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Well, okay? Chris, let me respond to that because that's horrifying. You know, every time Donald thinks things are not going in his direction, he claims whatever it is is rigged against him. Uh, the FBI conducted a year-long investigation into my emails. They concluded there was no case. He said the FBI was rigged. He lost the Iowa caucus. He lost the Wisconsin primary. He said the Republican primary was rigged against him. Then Trump University gets sued for fraud and racketeering. He claims the court system and the federal judge is rigged against him. Uh, there was even a time when... He didn't get an Emmy for his TV program three years in a row, and he started tweeting that the Emmys were rigged against Should have gotten it. This, this is a mindset. This is, this is how Donald thinks. And it's funny, but it's also really troubling. And I uh, just wanted to come back and say hello. Some of you have been on the trail for the whole time. No more debates. No more naps. Will you accept the results of the election? <laughs> You know, it was horrifying what he said on the debate stage tonight. Um, you know, our country's been around for 240 years. Um, and, you know, we are a country based on laws. Um, and we've had hot, contested elections going back to the very beginning. Uh, but one of our hallmarks has always been that we accept the outcomes of our elections. We do the best we can to have and fair elections, which we do. Uh, and somebody wins and somebody loses. Uh, so what he said tonight is part of his whole effort to blame somebody else for his campaign and for where he stands in this election. As I said, uh, whenever he is losing, he says the system, whatever the system is, whether it's... Uh, you know, being in court about Trump University or losing the Iowa caucus in the Wisconsin primary or losing Emmys, for goodness sakes, he says that it's rigged against him. I couldn't be prouder of Secretary Clinton, her outstanding service. I think she's worked tirelessly on behalf of the American people, and I don't think she was treated fairly during the election. I'm finding it a little curious that everybody's suddenly acting surprised that this looked like it was disadvantaging Hillary Clinton, because you guys wrote about it every day, every single leak, about every little juicy tidbit of political gossip, including John Podesta's risotto recipe. This was an obsession that dominated the news coverage. So I do think it's worth us reflecting how it is that a presidential election of such importance, of such moment, with so many big issues at stake and such a contrast between the candidates, came to be dominated by a bunch of these leaks. A moron! Fucking moron! Which Republican candidate has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. <laughs> Now, President Obama weighing in, saying yet again that he does not believe that Donald Trump can end up winning this election. Can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? 
Well, I can imagine it uh, in a Saturday night skit. Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. I don't see how he can win. So Donald Trump will lose, and he will then destroy the Republican Party. Can Donald Trump win a general election? Uh, my view is no. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting yeah. your way to well, the president. Let's presidency. see, I'm at 42 and you're at 3, so Doesn't so matter. far I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. Well, I can't find a single Republican. I talked to probably 12 Republican senators yesterday or, or their representatives. Uh, I couldn't find a single one who now thinks they're going to win. Donald Trump is not going to get the nomination. But I'd like to support the nominee, but he's not going to be the nominee. That's just not going to happen. Well, I don't think it's likely that Donald Trump will be the nominee. Well, I, he is not going to be the nominee. Well, I'm going to support the Republican nominee, and I'm comfortable that it's not going to be Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not going to get this Republican nomination. So, Jenny, could he actually win? No freaking way! <laughs> Do not tell me that Donald Trump is in this to win this, okay? He's a sideshow. I don't think his plan has anything to do with Latinos. His plan, his strategy is to win the White House without Latinos. I don't think he can do it. Uh, Jorge Ramos, Jorge, thanks. Uh, the Fox News decision desk has called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president. I think you're dumb, okay? I think you're fucking dumb. Right here. Okay.